Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS S16C Viper video, we're going to take a look at some of the changes coming to the Viper in the November update. Now, this is by no means all of the changes, just the most important ones, and we invite you to take a look at the change log for all of the changes upcoming. So, with no further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I want to take a look at are some changes to the uh, ACM or set movement tied to the helmet. So naturally, we'll first go aft on the dogfight switch to go into ACM mode. And then to go to a uh, set mode, we'll go forward short on the target management switch. To now slave the set radar to the line of sight of the helmet, we're going to press forward long more than 0.6 seconds on the target management switch. So we press forward and release. And now we have this ellipse that indicates where the radar bore sight is looking, which is again, slave to the line of sight of our helmet. So if we move our head around, we can see that the radar is following where we are looking. For lack of a target, we simply place the ellipse over the target. And if it's within range and gimbal limits, lock. it'll automatically lock up dump the lock, we simply press aft on the target management switch. Now let's take a look at some of the changes when you're in MRM mode. So we'll go forward on the dogfight switch to go to MRM mode. Let's bring up the HSD on the right side. And the first thing we see is before, when we had the uh, double chevron yellow indicators, that indicate a jammy target with no range information, those icons would actually be at the true location of those targets on the HSD. Obviously, that was not correct. Uh, now, they'll only appear uh, just below the outer range ring on the HSD. Going to the FCR, we have, uh, again, two jammy targets and one target that we can go ahead and bug. Let's do that. And we can see that the uh, elevation limits of high and low were not all jumping around like they were before. And finally, let's go ahead and do a AIFF uh, interrogation in scan mode by going left TMS short. So we got a, a negative mode four on the uh, contact that we can see, but that's it. Uh, previously, uh, targets that were um, uh, now being detected by our radar or being jammed would also show up uh, at their true locations on the FCR, and that's been resolved. Okay, so now let's talk about air to ground. And the first thing to mention is we've improved some of the uh, slaving between sensors. Uh, namely, as you can see here, the uh, FCR and air to ground mode on the left and the TGP on the right. So right now the FCR is our soy, and if we slew the cursor on the FCR, you can see it's slaving the TGP at the same time. Conversely, let's switch our soy now to the TGP, and as we slew the TGP, it is automatically slaving the cursor on the FCR. And next, we had an issue with the uh, Mark 84s falling a bit short in CCIP. And let's take a look at that. Looks good here. And next, there's an issue when the targeting pod was tracking a moving target and handing that off to a Maverick. So let's take a look at that. Uh, first, we can see we have target pod on the left and the Maverick on the right. Let's set the uh, Maverick to pre-mode and the target pod to auto. Let's find target. So we make the target pod our soy. Field of view. The target right there. 
point track following him. You can see it automatically then uh, started uh, tracking and handed off the target to the Maverick and it's already a lock because we are in auto mode. If it was in manual mode, it would slave to it, but it wouldn't lock it up automatically. At this point, we can rifle. And there you go. And last here on the ground, we made some changes to the uh, engine control switch, uh, namely added secondary mode. So here on the uh, left console, we have our engine control switch, which is guarded. Let's remove the guard. Uh, right now it's in primary, which is 99% of the time where you leave it, but we've added the secondary uh, mode as well. And when we move it to secondary, we'll see a drop in our RPM and also the engine nozzles will uh, close up. So this is what they look like now in primary. Oh, you can also see that we fixed the tail number. So let's go to secondary. See a small drop in our engine RPM. And outside, we can see that the uh, nozzles uh, closed up. Uh, you can compare that to our wingman next to us, which is in primary mode. Coming back, go back to primary, close the guard. RPMs start coming up a bit. And engine nozzles opened up. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you enjoy this upcoming update for the Viper. I'll see you next time. Thanks.